Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rick in the house here trying to uh, give you a little bit of uh, information about some stuff I found. And what you see bouncing up and down here is one of Kurt Melvin's graphics. <clears throat> Now, for the developers out there, they'd understand that what I did was I created a outline by copying the shape layer that was already there and uh, duplicating it, uh, giving it another number, and putting one of Kirk's graphics in there. So that means I can go in here and change the color and um, change the opacity. You know, so play around with some nice. So what could happen is this could you know fly in and then bounce in place and then the text you know comes on out there and you know nice little effect it's possible to make the text bounce too but I was just looking at maybe this a nice little moving background with some kind of creative graphics or even a, a video in there a picture or something so uh, it could be pretty interesting and also too what I did was um, while I was in there using Scott's lesson number mm, can't remember the lesson but it's in a basic course on how to add your own background layer so took the frames that Kurt had and BAM there they are right here I got 25 of them in here I got 90 or so I didn't go that far I was just gonna see how it looked and it uh, looks pretty good as you can see that the outline is floating above the frame I thought that would be nice because you can have the frame picture and then this thing flies out and put some text in there I'm working on a way for you to control the um, amount of travel on the bounce and the bounce speed what will happen is you will end up with two additional text fields here but they won't be for text they'll be for <clears throat> one is going to be for pixels travel I won't be able to put that in here but that's what it'll be for and then right now it's traveling 25 pixels uh, from the up to the down okay and then the speed right now is actually 2 or 0 0.002 really and uh, you, if you be able to change that so this can go up and down faster or slower and it, you may not want it to move as much you just may want some subtle movement as well as as um, horizontal movement what I was trying to do is come up with a nice arc to make it look like a ship on the sea where it kind of you know curves forward and backwards but I um, hadn't got this far just uh, just hacked this together real quick just to see what it looked like this is actually the code that I was adopting where this would be the uh, the object you know so it would be outline one or outline two in my case and this is the formula uh, that's running so now uh, forget about the hero animation it was a hero game that this came from that I snagged this from to modify it and make it work and uh, I will be including that once I package it in a way that makes it useful because my copy I add a variable here so that I can make some changes and make the bounce differently uh, but it's um, pretty interesting right now it starts on this side and then after 100 frames i believe it jumps over to the other side so anyway thought i would just share that um for those slide makers out there it's easy to put these um frames in here works out pretty nice next thing is get some different animations you know that would be cool but also understand that see the animation layer is above the frame layer so just keep that in mind anyway ladies and gentlemen have a good afternoon evening or whatever it is for you this is rick signing off